Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Phone Doctor. Today we're diving into the world of micro soldering with these three amazing tools. We have the Forward Engineer, the Blue Fire Hot Air Station, and the 6565 Pro Max T Microscope. These tools are essential for precision work in micro soldering. We'll show you how they work together to make sure your repairs are more efficient and accurate. First up, the Forward Blue Engineer. This soldering station offers precise temperature control and a comfortable grip, making it perfect for detailed soldering work. Next, we have the Blue Fire Hot Air Station. It's designed for safe and effective heat application, crucial for removing and reflowing components. And finally, the Forward Microscope 6565 Pro Max T. This microscope provides clear and detailed views of tiny components, ensuring you can see every detail while working. Let's set up our workspace and prepare a motherboard for a live demonstration. Now that we're all set up, let's begin using the Blue Engineer to remove an FPC on this logic board. Now mind you guys, I am not a professional micro solder, so don't judge me on my skills. But if you guys have any useful tips or information, leave them down in your description. I would love to hear from you guys. First, I like to begin by using a low melt solder to contaminate the original solder that is on the board already. Now this just helps whenever you're using your airflow station by mixing this it creates a lower temperature, thus making it a little bit easier to remove. And to do so, we simply just get a little bit of solder and apply it onto our tip. There we go. Now that we have that, we're gonna just simply run our iron across all these current points. Very easy. And I may have applied a little bit too much, so just remember, a little bit of solder does go a long way. And if we do have any excess, we can always dab some off on our cleaning brush here. So I took all that excess off. I'll add a little bit more, just a little dab. There we go. And I like to get the grounding areas as well. Now, as you can see, I did use a little bit too much solder to tin these edges. I'm not gonna be re reusing this FPC, so it should be okay. Um, if you're planning on reusing this FPC, I recommend using a lower amount of solder on there, so that way you don't contaminate any of the main components. Okay, now that that is complete, I'm gonna add a little bit of flux, and then I can introduce our hot air station. And I'm using a temperature of 380 Celsius for this. An airflow, for this scenario, we can use anywhere between 120 to 110 airflow. Reason being is you don't have a lot of resistors around here. If you had any kind of resistors or capacitors, then I would recommend uh, using a lower airflow so you don't blow any of those little capacitors off. Okay, so we just wanna work this board. Make sure we get a nice even heat distribution. And once you start seeing these pins change color, then you know you're at the right temperature. And there's a little bit of patience. There we go, let's, let's see it moving. There we go. Get this last ground. There we go. You can see we have successfully removed the FPC connector. And everything looks good here. There's no broken pads, which is great. Next up, we can use our iron once again and some copper solder wick. This will just help remove any kind of excess solder that's there. So let's just trim a little piece. That's all we need and we will tweeze. And I like to apply a little bit of flux onto our wick as well. This just helps absorb any kind of solder. It's a nice cleaner surface area. So we wanna make sure that the tip is clean. You don't want any solder on here when you're using any kind of wick, okay? All right, so let's just touch our areas where we have solder. clean smooth surface that's what we want and I may have knocked over this little capacitor 
I'm not sure, but these, these little guys look like they're tilted. So always be careful with how much airflow you're using. I may have been able to use a little bit less airflow to prevent this guy from blowing off, but just always be careful guys. That's all I gotta say, especially with this. So now that we have that safely removed, we can clean the area with some ISO. And I just like to use this brush and a little towelette that we have. And this just helps clean our surface area. But look at that, look how beautiful this FPC connector is, minus those little capacitors up on top, but that looks very nice and clean. So next up, what we need to do is we need to ball this and prepare it so that way we can lay our new FPC on here. And to do so, we will use the blue engineer this time and a little bit of flux. Okay, and we want to clean this because we're going to put some brand new solder on here. And to do so, we're gonna just dab our iron onto the solder. Just a nice little ball like that. Okay, and to ball this, all we do is we just simply just run your iron all the way across here. You just float it across the board and any kind of solder will stick onto those contact pads. So there we are. The board has been reballed. I'll clean it and inspect my work. Okay, so you can see there's a few areas here that I did miss. There's one area here and all these other areas look okay. There's This one can add a little bit more. I mean, me personally, I would probably just redo all this because you can see these grounding areas, they do have a little bit too much solder on those. So I don't want to have too much on these because then the board will not want to sit down when I reapply. And, these guys are lacking solder. But overall, you guys can see exactly how well the forward micro soldering kit works. I did a quick, simple demonstration. And to me personally, I think all this stuff is very, very nice, especially at the price point that they have it at. I believe all this stuff is for around $650. So very, very affordable. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, I will leave links down below in your description area. That's gonna wrap up my video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up and be sure you subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode. The Surgeon signing out. Cheers.